Mr. Lotekia. Chairman, sir, the SCDF designated residential buildings that go beyond 40 storeys as super high rise residential buildings. There are additional fire code requirements, such as the creation of refuge floor with holding area at 20 storey intervals and the installation of larger capacity fire leaf. In 21 3, such buildings were required to have two fire leaves to facilitate the evacuation of people with disabilities by firefighters. After a tragic fire at Marina Bay in 2014, where two security guards died in the fire, the requirement to appoint trained competent persons for super high-rise private residential buildings was implemented. The competent persons, such as the managing agent supervisor, will perform fire safety duties and train security guards to execute evacuation procedures properly. In a fire at 48th floor unit at Prince Pinaka Duxton in May last year, it was reported that a man and a woman in their 60s were hurt, suffering smoke inhalation. It was also reported that many residents living on the 47th and 48th floor chose to use the leaves to evacuate despite knowing the risk of being trapped in the leaves. A senior, aged 64 years, said he and his family walked from the 48th to the 45th floor, then gave up and took the leave to evacuate. I think there's a gap here for super high-rise public residential buildings, as there are no competent persons and train security guards to help conduct regular public education of residents and facilitate proper evacuation during fire. There is urgency in this with the aging population as more and more seniors find it onerous to walk down 20 storeys to the refuge floor. Some seniors may not even know that they should not evacuate using fire lift. <laughs>